We've been getting approached by a bunch of guys who are BJJ and jujitsu guys and MMA guys, actually a bunch of wrestlers too. So that's your background. I mean, you can do me a favor, just like give me the, the reader's digest version of what you've done in that world. Cause that was something that really impressed me. Yeah. You know, so I, you know, I'm a fifth degree black belt, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. And when I was younger, I moved down to Brazil, uh, you know, I was a teenager and I, you know, I read a Think and Grow Rich book, uh, you know, and I set my goals and, you know, sent me, sent me down to Brazil uh, to learn from the best, the source, right. and trying to be the best and all that. And so I ended up moving out of Brazil and, and really going for it and uh, ended up, you know, competing at the highest levels and you know, world class. I wanted to be world champion and all that. And then I started fighting MMA after, a few years after I got my black belt. Or actually, the first year I got my black belt, what am I saying? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I ended up, you know, fighting for, you know, probably about 10 years MMA and uh and uh you know it's just done so much for me you know it's really about it brought out the best in me so i really believe not only in mma but more more even jujitsu right as a yeah. way of life as a healthy way of life well, i think i might have told you my joke i love mma but i'm allergic to getting kicked in the face <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and uh, my line my, my my bjj line is you know you haven't lived until you've been choked out so which right. you know it's so true the first time i got choked out it was it was life-changing it was like oh my god when the moment i came to i swear to god this is my first thought it's like that's why people do drugs i mean it was so it was a, an amazing experience it wasn't crazy about losing the fight but you know how it goes um but can you do me a favor tell me like i, I mean first of all once again thanks for people who are in that world, you know, what are the applications that you see for them for use, doing what we're doing? I mean, obviously the idea of, you know, what we say is this is about use it or lose it, using your feet instead of having them bound up in something that doesn't let them bend and move and flex is problematic because if they don't stay strong and they don't stay strong if you keep them from moving. And obviously for people doing a lot, a lot of running just for cardio training, I mean, what else do you see as the value for what you know, like someone it. might find? Thank you. Feet are so important, right? Feet are so important. Like, you know, we think of our hands as grabbing, but our feet are constantly grabbing. We're always on our feet. Anything that we do, anytime we walk, anytime we do anything really, right? Pretty much. And jiu-jitsu, you're on your back, right? But you also, you start on your feet, right? And so um, just as far as health, like you want to, you don't want to be putting your feet into coffins, right? And you want, that's why I appreciate the, you know, what it, minimal, minimal shoes, minimalistic, minimal. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, something like that, you know. You know, uh, we look, actually, the fr the thing that phrase that I like lately is just natural movement. Natural movement shoes, you know, natural movement shoes, perfect, you know, and uh, and I'm very particular. I've tried out the the vibrams, the you know, the different types, you know, and uh, um, like I told you, like zero the zero shoes, they've really allowed me to really feel the ground because I you know I do, I do the tack fit and we do a lot of you know ground movements and I really have to part of the training right is grabbing the ground with your feet and so yeah. i can really feel it i can really feel that and so and and like i said the quality stays like they, they didn't get torn up you know so uh so the application for jujitsu is that you know you get more connected right you get more connected and so you can wear a shoe actually and so if you're gonna wear a shoe that's this is the shoe that you want to wear uh for for i mean for jiu-jitsu grappling but i think just in life in general yeah. because uh, it's natural it feels good it's quality you can feel the quality Thanks. you know and uh, after me after after us talking for the first time I, I i could see why 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 it was such good quality because of the thought and the the experience that you have with, with the people that you've learned from directly right Thanks. You know, it's funny. We're, um, we are the partner of the USA Olympic women's artistic swimming team it used to be called synchronized swimming. People go, what do they need shoes for? It's like, well, a walking to and from the pool B on the podium, but they're also like really, you know, foot strength is really important for them in the same way it can be for MMA and for jujitsu yeah. and ankle right. strength. And so they're wearing these just when they're out of the pool, obviously just to keep their feet and ankles um, strong and connected to the rest of their body, you know, so their brain knows what's going on can help move. And so I sort of see the same kind of thing here for MMA and BJJ guys. Yeah. And like you, can, you can wear wrestling shoes, right? You can wear wrestling shoes. Oh, and man, those things wear out like, yeah, it's, it's, it's right. It's similar. It's like a, you know, minimal, you know, natural kind of movement, yeah. but it's not right. And I really feel, I felt like my, my toes, my feet were able to move better with the zero shoes. You're, you're nodding your head because well, cause, you, cause all the wrestling <laughs> shoes I've seen, they squeeze your toes together. It's right. Like, exactly. What's the point exactly. of that? That makes no sense. Exactly. So, you know, they're, they're, I, I, you know, I'm not just saying it, but I really feel like this, your, your shoes are, are kind of the best shoes that you can have, uh, like as sweet. far as natural movement shoes, you know, uh, that, you know, replicate being barefoot, right? Because yeah, you can't yeah. always be barefoot. So it's the perfect shoe. So I really thank you for, for creating them. 
Oh, no, no. It's our pleasure. And I really appreciate your support. So, well, obviously keep me posted. However, we can help you guys out. Um, and I, again, just, you know, thanks so much. I really, I can't tell you how much I really enjoyed it where you were like, no, 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 I'm not going to say anything until I've really, really given these a test. <laughs> and some people like they have the experience immediately. They put them on and go, oh my God. And they immediately type in, but you're like, whoa, slow down, boy. <laughs> now, I wanna, you know, before, I, before I speak on something, I want to really test them out and I want to yeah. you know, make sure they're, they're, they're good and good quality. They're not going to fall apart. And yeah, it's, I took like a whole month, I think, of, of testing yeah. them out. Really about six them. weeks. Anyway, well, dude, um, first of all, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And, you know, as always, looking forward to what's next. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you.